if you've seen some of my previous videos, you see I do some graphs and little charts and stuff like that. I've been asked a few times, what am I using? Let me show you how to install Draw.io in Docker Desktop so you can use it too. Open your Docker Desktop, go to Docker Hub, and then search Draw.io. You will see the JGraph Draw.io, click on it, and then just do pull, run. It's going to ask you to create a name. We'll call this draw IO. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to do ports? Ports are like plugs on your computer. It allows information to come in and out. As this is local network, it's all sort of done within your computer. You're not going to have to worry about open port. It's not an insecure network access thing. It's only if you forward a port on your ONT device that it becomes a security risk. When it's all local, you're pretty okay. So it will default ask if you want to use 8080 and and 8443 can use those i personally try and stay away from the default because when you have it like when you start adding new apps you need them all on a different port so you can just add something like 4578 and then 4579 that's fine click run because we've already pulled the the files it will just set up the configuration and go now you see up here we have our ports they've been mapped so if i click on one of those it opens a browser and you're running the Draw.io locally. So you're aware when you save, it sa saves to the browser or your device. It doesn't save in the cloud. So because this is all local, uh, it's not easy to set up a share and share it. So that's one thing to be aware of. I would always just save to your device. Second thing to be aware of, this will only run when you've got Docker Desktop running. You can leave Docker Desktop running in the background always, or you can spin up a little server, a little box and install Docker on that and then run this from a little box. I literally just got a little optiplex it just turned up 25 minutes ago i'm going to do a ton of stuff i'd love to hear if you have any thoughts on what you want to see me set up on that but let me show you there's one little thing i think most people like and that is how i get the little animated arrows let me show you click on the arrow i like to change it to a color then i like to change it to be three points so it's three points three pixels wide and then if you look down you'll see flow animate click and we have it flow animate real simple Basic, if you want to save, click to save and it saves a name to your device or the browser or it'll download. I think it's a great little thing to host. As you can see, I use it a lot and you can also sort of download and save it as a PNG or an S S SVG as well.